wing foiling on a small board has many advantages. Being smaller and lighter, they are far more maneuverable and make everything much easier once you're up and moving on the foil, including your jibes and your tacks. But the challenge there is to get these small boards up on foil quickly, reliably, through different wind conditions, and without spending too much of your energy. I'm going to go through the three easiest techniques to get up and going on a low volume wing foil board so you can maximize your enjoyment while riding. First up is what I call the dip start. This start is the most versatile and I think the easiest for everyone to learn. It's kind of a variation of the stink bug start, but it essentially starts with you sitting on the board and gathering just a little bit of momentum from the wind, going perpendicular to the wind direction. From there, once you feel stable, you can reach down with the wing and hold your front hand onto the nose of the board. That way you can switch up to your knees and then quickly bring the sail back up and into the wind. You want to bring it first with your front hand and then have your back hand follow so your wing stays in the air without getting caught on the water too much. Starting in this manner enables you to be in a comfortable relaxed position while sitting on the board and only quickly transition from that position to your kneeling position. It allows you to wait until a gust comes and additionally the position of your legs under the water gives you extra buoyancy so you can keep your board on the surface as much as possible. I'll use this start most often and find it's much less energy intensive than a sink start where you're waiting for your board to rise to the surface. Starting yourself in a sitting position, your board naturally stays close to the surface and you can quickly recover it back to the surface and get up on foil as fast as possible. Again from the front angle, start sitting with the wing slightly powered in order to move perpendicular to the wind at a slow pace. I recommend an overhand grip for easiest manipulation of the board, but in this case I'm using underhand to hold onto the camera too. I'll use this start in any wind or swell condition and find it to be the least tiring and most flexible for different wings. In really strong conditions, you can firmly grip the nose of the board to position your knees, and in really light conditions, you can make the dip as fast as possible to keep your board tracking on the surface throughout the maneuver and keep your speed up as much as possible. The second method, a hop start, is harder and for higher winds. When you're really well powered and not wanting to dip or needing to start as fast as possible, you can use the wing to pull you up onto your knees. This is done by squeezing the board with your thighs and pivoting your pelvis up enough to swing your knees onto the board. Without a wetsuit, this might be a bit painful, but in a pinch, wearing a wetsuit as padding, it's a really fast way to get up and going in strong or gusty winds. The last method is quite easy, but relies on your wing having a draft neutral middle handle that lets you control the wing under a small amount of power with only one hand. Much like the dip method, you use your front hand to hold the board while you position your knees on the deck while your back hand controls the wing. This is a good method for consistent or light winds and probably uses the least energy of all three methods. However, it is challenging to control the wing in strong or gusty winds in this manner and is only possible with some wings. As an alternative to a draft neutral central handle, you can tie a rope or loop between the front and back handles of your wing. I find a center handle or rope to be very convenient in other conditions while winging, such as riding swell or coming out of jibes, giving you an easy one-handed grip to complete your maneuver. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if any of these starts work for you. I have found these to save a ton of energy and time compared to other methods and they seem to work in light or very strong winds. Switching to a lower volume board is really enjoyable and isn't just for high wind as long as you have the right start technique in your arsenal.